Uh, I'm gonna shoot that thing. So much for sleeping in. Uh, something set him off at like two o'clock this morning too. And I don't have earplugs. That said, it's still better out here than it would have been inside of that bunkhouse. Oh, but you know what? Five fifteen. So I guess I'm up. Good morning. It's Tuesday. July 27th, I think. I'm gonna get my stuff together here in a little bit. It's gonna take me a minute to wake up. It's early. I'll get with you as soon as I'm awake. Probably actually not again until I get onto the trail, but. <laughs> We'll get there. We'll get there. It's going to be a good day. Feels real good to be walking this morning. Between the overall lack of cleanliness in that hostel, between the guinea fowl starting up their shenanigans several times during the night between the folks that worked at the hostel playing loud music until about 11.45 last night and between the roosters starting their crap about 4.15 I'm kind of glad to be out of there but it's all part of the adventure it's behind me I lived through it, and now I got a great day ahead of me. I just stopped by this little brook that I'm walking past and got my three liter supply of water for the day, or at least for the first half to, half to go up and over McAfee Knob, which is the first order of business today. Got about a eh, 0.6 until I get to Catawba Creek, and then I'm pretty sure I start climbing after that to go up and over the knob. So, that's all I got so far. And, uh, as always, if you see something cool, I'll bring you back. What am I gonna walk for now? Top of that far ridge. Let's zoom in. Head up there. Dragon's Tooth. Uh, a couple of miles distant. Now you know what it looks like from this point of view. I got a bit of a gnarly climb coming up. It's gonna be kind of up and downs for a little while. Got a like 0.6 to go up up this cut here, and then uh, got about three and a half miles, and then I start the big climb to McAfee Knob. So. I don't know how much I'll show in between now and then, but there's not much to see, to be honest. Uh, I think it's a lot of puds. But, if I do see something, I'll bring you back. I'm glad I'm done with that dang thing. Uh, dirty booger. So I'm at the parking lot. At the bottom, you know, where McAfee Knob is. You can see right there. And some trail angel left water. That's incredible. 
I can't tell you how great that was for me. Because it's hot. It's pushing 90. It is pushing 90. So, got a ways up the hill to go see McAfee Knob and then up and over. And then after that is Tinker Cliffs. I'm gonna take my time because it's brutal out here today. I might even sit on a guardrail over here for a little bit. I'm gonna chill out. I'll check back in when I get up there. Starting to climb the McAfee Knob now. It's about 12.45. I uh, spent about an hour in the shade of the sign at the parking lot at uh, Route 311 here just I needed to cool off I was I was just brutal today so far but uh yeah we're gonna get up to the top it's probably not much to see till I get there so I'll bring you back when I'm at the the uh the landmark This is the view from the Cafe Knob. Let me spin you around. Yeah, not bad. It's finally a breeze up here. 6.7, apparently there's a raven. 6.7 miles left in the day. Yeah, it's not a bad panorama. Big old raven down there somewhere. But that's the second part of the Virginia Triple Crown done. Just have to do Tinker Cliffs, which actually is there. Out of that ridge, so I gotta go down there and then walk across that whole ridge line. And after that it, it dips down ish in that region to uh, get down into Daleville. Delville, of course, is nine miles past Tinker Cliffs. Well, nine miles past the shelter that's past Tinker Cliffs. And uh, yeah, that's also where I'm probably gonna be relaxing tomorrow evening. So, still got a few miles left to get in the day and I gotta get moving because these miles ain't gonna walk themselves. So I'll catch you when I get to the next place that's cool or see something interesting or you know the deal by now. I'll get back with you. Popped out a little farther on the trail here. and Another vantage of uh, Tinker Cliffs. Again, that's that ridge that's the peak right out there. So I had to walk along this ridge line here. Probably cross those power lines. It's kind of steep going down here, but I just noticed right there. I think that's uh, Roanoke Airport. Huh. Roanoke and if that's Roanoke then that I think is Daleville yep, right there yeah that's I think that's Daleville so that might be where I'm going to be tomorrow afternoon so yeah it's still mighty steep down there but what a gorgeous day what a gorgeous day. I'm so happy I could show you this. Maybe next time I come up here, one of y'all are gonna be with me. What a day. Gotta love a cicada. Good luck. One of my favorite Perennial bugs. Many places, they are considered good luck. Go on. They're not exactly the most graceful of insects. But anyway, this is the Campbell Shelter. Right below... Uh, McAfee Knob, McAfee Knob, however you pronounce it, I don't know. Nobody really knows for sure. 
Apparently there is a two night camping limit. But this is not where I'm staying tonight. I am going to keep bouncing over to uh, Tinker Cliffs. Okay, I will say one thing. The fact that the, uh, the crapper over there has a view down the power lines, that's kind of cool. A crapper with a view is never a bad thing. And they got a bear box too, so you don't have to worry about slinging a rope over a tree. But uh, I need to figure out which direction I'm going because I am not sure. I'll come back when the next cool thing happens. I think I go that way. Got some turkeys up here. Zoom, zoom in on them. A bunch of turkeys. And they're running. <laughs> nice. There's a big one right there. Saw one earlier. I spooked it. It flew off. I couldn't get it on camera. But these ones I got. All right. So here we're pretty darn close to Tinker Cliffs. Cool rock formations, but nothing really to brag about. I don't know why it's part of the Virginia Triple Crown. I mean, after McAfee Knob, McAfee Knob, whatever you want to call it, this is kind of meh. Especially considering the last half mile to get up here was decidedly spicy, let's just say. I said some bad words coming up this one. I only got 1.7 to get to a water source and campsite, so that's where I'm gonna go. Getting low on battery, so I might not film too much more. Can't even see where McAfee Knob is. Darn it. I was mistaken. This is Tinker Cliffs. That right. Th there. Ish. Yeah. That's uh, McAfee Knob. That's where it was a few hours ago. And this is a hell of a valley. I see why this is part of the... Uh, Virginia Triple Crown. Gorgeous. Anyway, I gotta get down to camp. I gotta get down to camp. That's where we came from. Got this nice view out here. But this is the trail. The trail is literally walking along the edge of Tinker Cliffs. You're afraid of heights? I'm gonna break it to you. This is not gonna be your cup of tea. At all. But I live for this stuff. I'm well, sorry for not giving y'all a tour when I got here, but I have made it to the Lambert Meadows shelter. Gonna be sleeping in here tonight. Didn't feel like pitching a tent, but uh, did a 16.4 mile day. Finished up the other two parts of the Virginia Triple Crown. So I did uh, McAfee Knob and Tinker Cliffs this evening. So it was a great day. Uh, tomorrow, 9.4 miles into Daleville, and I'm doing definitely doing a Nero. I'm staying there tomorrow night just do laundry and get a shower and a good bed. But uh, gonna sleep good tonight. Gonna wake up probably 5.30 or 6 o'clock. I wanna get on the trail fairly early because I do not wanna deal with the heat like I did today. It got over 90 and it sucked. But um, yeah, met a couple uh, section hikers uh, here today. I uh, chatted for a while and uh, shared some of my stories and adventures so far. So that was pretty cool. But uh, I'm gonna be heading to bed. I'll give you a, a quick rundown and a tour uh, when I wake up in the morning of this shelter. So again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the morning.